Now that I've got the basic tone started, I'm going to start trying to refine areas to get better transitions and more details. If I want to darken an area, I can exaggerate the tone when I put the charcoal on. As soon as I touch it, it's going to come back off. If I keep matching the tone that I see on the object to directly, I'll just have to keep adding charcoal back in. I want to take a little bit of charcoal off, I can use my finger. If I want to take a little bit more, I can use a dirty part of the eraser. I've been using my fingers to blend. Uh, now I'm going to use a blending stump. A blending stump doesn't take as much charcoal off as my fingers do and it can work in tighter areas. So a blending stump, what it does is it helps you get transitions from one area to the next. So if I want to get a blend between this tone and this tone, I can wiggle this along the edge and create softer transitions. If uh, part of the cat starts to disappear into the background, blend in with the uh, stage and the, the tray and the uh, black behind it, that's okay. I can always get it back. Don't worry too much about holding on to edges. You can shape the eraser into tight wedges so that you can make a tool that works for the area you're working in. If I want to get this fine strip right here, I can make the eraser the right size to do the job. I can dab it on here too. Use my blending stump to get a blend, a soft blend. If I get tired of working in any one area, I can switch off. I don't have to go edge to edge from here all the way out. I can work around. So for instance, if I've kind of had enough with working with the front end of the cat, I can come back here.
Every once in a while it helps to work on details in the background. So I've got a section of box, I've got a shadow coming through here, there's a bit of a gap right here. Looking at one area to another, you can compare tones. So for instance, this back edge of my cat's head was disappearing in the background. What I did was I squinted at the cat and compared the tone on the cat to the background. When I did that, I noticed that the background was a lot darker than the edge of the cat. I don't want to use my finger to blend the background because it'll take a lot of charcoal off, so I'm just going to use the stump. So this got a little bit further. What I would do is continue on. This would probably take me another half hour, 40 minutes to completely work out this stage. Um, I'll show you what this looks like at the beginning of the next stage.